Well, hi everybody. This is Helen, your Stamping Up demonstrator from Bell Block in New Zealand. Right, it's nice to be here. It's not a very nice day outside, but it's nice to be in the classroom, that's for sure. Um, what's been happening? So I've had classes this week. I had a container class this week. Um, last weekend we did the brayer class, so that was really exciting, using the brayer and teaching techniques, which was awesome. Um, what else has been happening? Lots of things, really. Um, the new catalogue's coming out soon, so I'm getting ready for the catalogue launch, which is awesome. And yeah, just been busy on the farm with the horses, and the, we've got four new um, lambs that arrived yesterday, so that was exciting as well. Right, so I'm going to um, put you face you down so you can see what I'm going to make today and then I'll talk to you about a few things I've got coming up when we're finished. So I see Jane's there. Hi Jane, nice of you to join me today. Uh, we've missed you at class so it's nice that you will be able to um, join my Facebook live. Right, so I'll just put you down just a moment. Right, and I will just check on my iPad that I can see you. Yes, I can. Oh, you just check my volume's working. Perfect. Right. So I, I was trying to work out what card to do today, and I found a card that I have made in a class just recently, a different fold. And I thought I'm going to use um, the Fishing DSP because it's going. Um, I've really enjoyed using the, the DSP from the Fishing set, Let's Go Fishing. There's some beautiful papers in it. So I thought I would work on these sort of colour, this colour range today. And we'll probably use some of the fish as well. So I'll just move that aside. And I decided to go with Misty Moonlight and Vanilla for this um, particular card that I'm going to make. So I'll show you the measurements for these pieces. And then um, I'm going to cut the DSP while I'm with you. So let's see if I can just move that down a fraction. No, this way it has to come this way a fraction, doesn't it? I'm trying to just work out where I need to sit things with this new stand. So it's quite exciting having a new stand to work with, but it's just also trying to um, trying to work out where to position everything. Right. So the piece of vanilla I've got is 14 and a half centimeters by the length of our cardstock. So it's about 29.8. Okay, so um, yeah, probably need to come up a fraction further, don't I? Right, so that's by 28. So that's the length of the cardstock by 14 and a half. So I will score that first of all. So I'll bring my trimmer in. And I'll just bring the little leg out on it. And we will start by scoring at five centimeters and then 10 centimeters then all the way down to 20 centimeters and then down to 25 centimeters so that's that piece so I'll move my trimmer again so these are the 5, 10, if I put it this way, the 5, 10, 5, 10, 20, 25. So this one here is 4.8. So we're going to have this one on your right-hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this one in and use your bone folder to get a nice sharp crease and this one out. Then we're going to do the same with this side. So fold this one in. And this one out. So as you can see, that one's just a fraction smaller. That's going to go on your right-hand side on this one here. Okay. Then I have a piece of card here that is 10 and a half centimetres by 15. And this is in the Misty Moonlight. So I'm going to attach this onto there, leaving a small border of the Misty Moonlight. So I'll just move that back down again because I don't need to see the measurements at the bottom. Amanda and I had a lot of fun the other day trying to set up my new stand 
but it's just trying to get it positioned right. And um, we had a little practice run, and then we both freaked out because we had this little um, little thumbs up coming across the page, and it was supposed to be on a private page that no one could see. So that was a bit scary. So we turned it off really quickly. <laughs> but never mind. Right. Okay, so there's your, your um, smaller edge there. Okay, and it's going to open out like that. Right, so we need some designer paper to go in the back of there. So I'll bring my trimmer back in. Um, and I thought I had this piece that's cut just about to the right size. So I'll use this pattern. So we need this at nine and a half centimetres. We're going to cut by 14.5. I think that's about right. So that's that one. Then we are going to need some pieces for the front as well. So we'll do one piece at a time, just so that I don't confuse you with lots of different measurements. So we'll put this piece in the middle. No, it's not 14.5 by 14. As soon as I went to put it on, I thought, that's not right, it's by 14. too many measurements in my head at the moment so we could use either side because they're both great but I'm going to use this side so we'll just put that in like so okay perfect so now what I've got is I have a couple of pieces here of misty moonlight so this one here is nine and a half centimeters by 14. So basically when this goes on, it should be centered with a little area of vanilla all the way around. Okay, and this one is going to be attached to this side here. So it's easier to put your tape or your glue down the side and along the bottom half of your misty moonlight because when you attach it you want to allow just a small area of vanilla around there like that okay so that's that one there then we've got this little piece so this one here I have cut at 14 by hard to see up there by 4.3 is it? 5. I'll just oh, hard, so far down. 4.5 looks like 4.5. Right, so that is going to go on to there, just like that. So we'll just attach that one on there. Just like that. And Going to attach this one close to the fold line of that one, okay? Just like that. And that will come over there like so. Right, so now we need the DSP for the front of here. So let me just grab, oops, sorry. And I'll double check my measurements before I cut. We've had a few things I've been cutting out at the moment. So we need to cut the DSP nine centimeters by 13 and a half. So if we put our DSP in at 13 and a half centimeters for a start. Oops, get rid of that little bit. So 13 and a half is just there. And we're going to cut that. And then we need to cut it this direction at nine centimeters. And then this other piece is four and a half, so we need four centimeters as well. So we've got one piece, we need four centimeters. Put that down to four centimeters and cut that as well. So those are our two pieces. So I'll bring our card back here and we're going to attach this one on the front like that. So we'll just attach that on with our stamp and seal. Now this is a great card if you're trying to use up your DSP because 
you can use different um, pieces. And sometimes you've got little strips that are left over. So that little piece in there could have a different pattern if you want. But I've just used the same pattern for that one. So, but it is a good way of using up all your little bits and pieces that you might have at home. So at the moment, all these packs are retiring and I am just using them up and enjoying them while they are still available. So I don't think I've got that quite straight. Let's see if I can lift that up. Wasn't very good, Helen. Let's try again. Yeah, that's better. Right. So that's the front of our card. So now I need to put something on the front here. And I also need to put something in there to write on. So if I put that aside and I'll bring my little friend in. Open that up. And I've got this beautiful die. Now this is from Thoughtful Expressions. And Thoughtful Express Expressions is retiring. Which is such a shame because I have thrashed these dies. I think there's a set of, I think, four different sizes. But they're all made so they can fit inside each other of this shape and also this other circle shape as well. They are amazing. Right, so I'm just going to cut one of those out. So I'll put the plate on top. And then I will just put that through and cut that one. Just like that. And then I will cut another one. So I just grab some scrap vanilla I had and that will do. So I'm cutting both the same size because I've got plenty of room for those. So now all we need to do is to, that's one shape, that's the other. Right, so I will grab my Misty Moonlight ink, and I've got Happy Birthday. So Happy Birthday is from um, the Very Best Occasion stamp set, the Happy Birthday. I use it all the time. And unfortunately, this stamp set is retiring. So um, if you're wanting to get it before it goes, get hold of me as soon as possible, because it will be going, and we will not see it again. So the other thing that I want to do from here is I want to use some of these fish because we all know how much I love cutting these little things out. But I think the fish are so cute. And I love DSP like this, where you can have your DSP and you don't necessarily have to have the stamps that match because the DSP have images that you can cut out. So why not make the most of it? I've got the stamp set as well. I like the stamp set because the stamps in it are amazing. But, you know, sometimes we can't, we, we don't have everything, so um, DSP like this is amazing for this. So I'm just going to cut that out, which is just like that. What else have we got? That would look cute. Right, what else do we need? How about this one here. Now sometimes, like this fish here, is on the edge of my paper. Okay, so it's cut right on the edge of his tail. But we can still use it. We don't need to worry, um, we just cut round. I forgot to bring a rubbish bin over. So, and I've just vacuumed my floor. So it's always the way, isn't it? That's all right. So just snipping in, in and out a little bit, just to give a bit of a shape. Now, if I was not doing my Facebook Live, I'd be a little bit more careful with this, but you know what it's like. I don't want to hold you up all afternoon. Right, so there's a couple of fish to go on the front. What else? Oh, this little one here is cute. This little blue one would be quite cute too. The stamp set for this is, is amazing. It's got lots of fish and it also has um, some other nautical stamps as well that can be used. And a lot of different words that you could use as well. But the stamp set is um, remaining and carrying over to our new catalogue. So that's really awesome. So I get to use the stamp set a lot. But the little, um, the, the DSP is finishing. Now let me just grab the stamp set. Oh, when I find it. 
find it on my shelf. I had it before. Cool, let's go fishing. Oh, do I know where it is? Over here. Gone fishing. There we go. So maybe we could put something inside. So let's have a look. Why don't we put... Good things come to those who wait. Because that's always quite a great saying for anyone that goes fishing. So I might just ink that up. Might just stamp that in the centre of that one there. And what else? There's lots of other things that you could use as well. So there's lots of um, like the water, the little um, hooks and things like that. They are great. There's some really great stamps in there. So good things come to those who wait. We might just put our little fish down there. And I'll pop them up because... Anyone that comes to my class, they know how much I love dimensionals. So I will just pop them up. And even though he's only little, we'll use three pop-ups for that. And I'll just take the backs off that, throw them on the pole, because I haven't got my rubbish bin. And that, he can just go down the bottom, across there like that. Then this one here could be on the front. So we might just do the happy birthday on here. So what else might we use? I might use, let's have a look, I've got an extra block here. I might just use this little hook. Might use this fish down there, that one up there, and then we could put our happy birthday in the centre here like that. So sometimes it's just putting it together and working out how you want it to go. So, I'll put those fish on when I put it on the card. So, if we bring our card back now, this is the piece that's going to go on the front. And, of course, like I, like my ladies say, Helen loves dimensionals. So, let's just put a few on here. I watched a, um, a Facebook Live once, and Bruno used, like, heaps and heaps and heaps. I thought, oh, it was amazing. It was great. And you know, you always need some near the centres too, because like if you just put them one each side there, the centre would collapse a bit. So you can put that on the front like so. Then we'll put these little fish. I might use the large ones because I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Seems bad having two large dimensionals on a little fish, but oh dear. There we go, just like that. So I'll just peel the backs off those. Oh, here's my pack me tool. I did lose my pack me tool, but a few ladies gave me a call and brought them back. So that was great. They just happened to be... Oh, I was going to put that one down there, wasn't I? Let's just change that over. Put him down there. And this one here. There you go. That looks cute. Happy with that. And then on the inside here... We'll put this one on here. So I'm going to put this one down flat. I'll pop my little fish up, but I'll put the um, this little label shape down flat. That's where we can write. And then maybe we might need something on here. So what have we got? We've got a little... Yeah, we've got some little fish. I don't know if I want a fish. I might have one of these. I might do. Oh, here we go. Might be one of these. Well, I'll grab a piece of scrap vanilla, like so, and I will grab my ink pad. So I'm using the Mr. Moonlight ink pad. And why don't we? We've got dies here, so we've got a die for that stamp. So I'll bring my little friend back in again, because why cut it out by hand if we can die cut it? So I'll put that onto there. Hopefully I've got that straight. It's hard to tell when you're not like directly above things. You're trying to do things on an angle. Right. 
hold my breath and put it through and hopefully we've got it right. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad for me. That's cool. So we can just put this one up on here. So I will pop him up. Find a few of my small dimensionals for that one. There you go. Right, so that is our card. Oops, I keep wanting to work down lower and I need to work up higher. Sorry. So it might just take me a little while to get used to where I'm um, sitting my card on that for you. So there we go. That's our that's our card. So it sits flat like that and you've got a really great border of vanilla around the edge. Then that one opens out and that one opens out and you can write in the middle. Um, but that's our card for today. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that. So just remember these this pack of DSP is going and let me just check I should have had this organized and checked it out before I came on my live but it's been a busy morning um where are we here oh it's in here somewhere in the catalog there we go so it is on page 131 this DSP is half price at the moment $13.12 for a pack of designer series paper great bargain so if you're looking for a designer series paper to make men's cards this is perfect okay if you want to order some of that let me know um things are starting to sell out in the retirement catalog but um there's still some of there's still some of that left earlier on this morning when i checked okay so that's our card for today so if you'd like to make a card like that please share with us all we love seeing what you make love seeing the colors you use or the designer series paper you use or the stamp that you use as well so i'd love to see anything that you make this is the card that i had made for my class so this was from the um inked botanicals designer series paper so this was the card that i made that day and i just had a look this morning and i seen that there and thought right let's just make that with the fishing paper so it just shows you can make two different cards um, same style, but they'll look completely different. Right, would you like to see what I'm doing this weekend? So this weekend, I am using this beautiful paper here. So this is the Zinnia paper. What is it called? Flowering Zinnias. And it is beautiful. There's some beautiful papers in it. Um, gorgeous Zinnias that you can cut out, which is great, because you know how much I love cutting things out to create cards. Um, beautiful bright colours and this one's really stunning to make cards as well you don't have to do a lot with that just put a ribbon or put a greeting and you've got an instant card so that this is the pack of DSP that I'm using this weekend and these are the cards that we're making so as I said before a little bit of ribbon and a greeting and that is a completed card that one uses three different pieces of designer series paper um, I like to be able to show how you can use all the papers in the pack. This one here's got one of the papers as a background, and then this is one of those ones that we can cut out. This one here, again, uses the bright flowers, um, another little one there with crosses, another little paper there with patterns on, and then some of these cut out flowers. And then this one here. So this was really cute and lots of fun making this as well. So there's lots of different papers used there as well. So that was that was a really nice card to make. So that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. So I've got a class on Saturday and a class on Sunday. So remember everybody, the retirement catalogue is um, out. There's a whole heap of specials. Um, I've highlighted everything in here and priced everything that's on special. And there are some amazing, amazing savings. Okay, so if you're wanting to know what's on special, what's retiring, just go to my page. So it's www.helenmcewen.stampinup.net. And if you have a look on there, um, you will be able to see 
what's available, what's um, on special, how much it is and everything else. Um, oh, thanks, Susan. You can see a lot more. Yeah, I know. That's it, great. We had a little bit of um, trial and error trying to get it in the right place so I can um, face it towards me and face it down and get um, a really good view. So... Um, yeah, lot, lot, lots of fun. It's just um, finding my way around it. So, um, yeah, so the retirement catalogue is live until the end of the month. Now, I'm going away on the 28th of April. So, if anyone wants anything before it retires, please get hold of me before I go away. I don't want to have to um, be watching for messages and emails and trying to sort things out when I'm travelling overseas. So, um, yeah, I'm away on the 28th, so if we can fix things up before that, that would be great. You can always go online and order online through my online shop if you wish, and have it um, shipped directly to you. Right, well that is my card for today, I hope you've enjoyed that, and um, as always I enjoy catching up with you all. It's nice to be here, I look forward to my Thursdays, and I will catch you all again next Thursday at 2pm. But until then, enjoy the rest of the week, enjoy your weekend, and I'll catch up with you next week. Oh, and by the way, the card that, um, the photo I shared of Trish with a flame, that was from our Brea class, and it was soot embossing, uh, no, soot stamping. Um, it was lots of fun. Marilyn had a lot of fun catching her piece of cardstock alight, <laughs> but it did add to the finished um, project. So if I get a chance at some stage, I will do a Facebook Live and I'll show you exactly how we do that. Right, so that's me for now. You enjoy the rest of the week and I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks everybody. Bye for now.